Hello everyone, this is Donna and today I want to share with you something that I've been doing with the flowers that you find in the dollar store. Let's check out an idea I have with these and you'll decide if you like them or not. And you'll see a couple of projects coming up where I've already used them and I really like them. For the sake of time, I've already pulled some off and they're here. I'm going to be using some seed beads. These are in white and in clear. And I'm going to show you some that I've already done. These have pink seed beads in the center, as you see. These others have the clear that I'm going to use today. This one has the pinks. I hope you can see that well. These are all done in the pink. And once you use them in a project, see these are ready already. They look really nice. And if you want, you can put some glitter on them also. I didn't use glitter on these. And these are the pink ones. And on the pink ones, I use these. You see the inside. This is the bottom. This is how you seal it so it stays together. And I'll be showing you that process now. But I just wanted to show you some already done. So you have an idea of what, what where we're going with all of this. Now, when you first pluck them off, they come with this little thing here. If you take that off and you try to work with the flower without it, you lose the center. The center is really good because it has little pieces and it kind of holds the seed beads in that little cup it has. So you want to leave this on, but we're going to trim it. So let's just pull a couple off. This is how easy they come off. It's not a lot of work at all. I, I think I did those in, a, in, in like a half an hour like three branches and then I saved these leaves not the big ones these little ones I have them in a little baggie I didn't save them all but I saved some look at how pretty they are when you look at them well sorry for the glare you can use these in projects too the bigger ones I didn't save but of course if you're gonna make big flowers you could use those too and what else do I want to tell you see this little piece I was trying to figure out for the ladies who can't find um, the handle for the friendship umbrella. They don't have the little, let me get it, I forgot the name of it. They can't find these for the handle and it's a little weak and if you want a sturdier handle on your friendship umbrella, I actually cut these off and I put two together. And you'll see it on one of my latest umbrellas. I put two together and I glued them together and then I just turned them down. And what you have is nothing going to waste. If you want it double strong, you put two together. If not, you put one together. And then I just wrapped it with this or with some lace. And of course, when I'm going to do this project, then I'll, I'll do it much better, but I'm showing you flowers. I'm just showing you this tip on what to do with the branches. Don't throw them out. They're the handles for the friendship umbrella. If you don't have this, just use lace. Even if you have this and you want to do it different and you want to use lace and give it the shape, these are the shape. But to make it a little thicker, that's why I have two. You could even use three. And all you do is glue them together. I'm not going to do that now because we'll waste time. You glue them together and then you wrap them in your lace. As easy as that. And then I found these sticks. Uh, I think it was a dollar something in Walmart. See the one painted in pink already? You could paint them in pink or you could just not paint them and wrap them up in trim. So you, you can use these. They're called uh, round dowels and they're in Walmart. So what I did was once I made this shape, I put this on the edge 
and I and I um, attached it with glue onto the dowel and this was the shape so now you have the strong stick coming out and then you have this for the shape of the umbrella and you wrap it up as you see if you want to use these or if you want to use lace so that's another idea for the ladies who can't find uh, this and it's a little firmer actually the other thing the dowel and so forth so now you've used everything to this this is uh i'm just cutting them off <laughs> to save it and these i have a couple of branches so and i have a lot of leaves saved up already so i'm throwing those out but everything could be recycled and reused nothing will go to waste now back to this project it's simple and it's easy you'll just be careful not to burn your hands I fold it down like this I clip it pretty close but not complete because I have to seal it with this so I just go around that little tip to keep it in place there we go that's it and I let it go again and leave it to dry I'm not gonna work on the other side right now so that this side could dry that's drying there meanwhile you just keep going with the others push it down grab it close but not completely down and glue uh, just a little bit to keep it in place a little bit of the glue that touches the sides of the flower will keep it there because when you're going to do the center the other side you're going to fold it the other way and you don't want it to come out so i'm giving them a minute to dry so i'm just cutting a few more i know you got it already take advantage of the time okay and this one will dry also and they have a nice array of color did you see how nice the white looks with the pink center isn't that pretty really nice and what it is is oh, some of the petals go down some of the petals go up so it gives it this nice full look and you get quite a few this is one branch when you're gonna purchase them just make sure that you look at all the branches like this one I look at all the branches like right here I see one's missing I was kind of in a rush and I didn't look well and there's one missing here but if you see them all full then you know and here's one missing see any tips that don't have a flower but you see it brings a lot so for a dollar you're gonna have a lot of little flowers just a little care and you'll have a really nice project I'm gonna put these over pull this up and these up now they've had a chance to dry I open up the center like this that's why I told you we're gonna do it backwards too you gotta make sure you glue that bottom and this is really easy I just put a little dab of glue in the center and stick it inside of my seed beads and I got these seed beads in Hobby Lobby they had them in clearance for a dollar something you never know what you're gonna find in clearance Hobby Lobby but if they don't have them in clearance they have a whole aisle of these where the jewelry and the beads are look at how cute that looks so I got like a ton of these. Let me see where it is. Let me just show you how many you get about. I must have swirled it around. Here we go. I got all of these. This is one package of them for a dollar something. I think it was a dollar thirty six. And there was tons of it. I don't know why I didn't get more because for these flowers. Look at how cute. And if you want to glitter it before you put the... The, um, the little seed beads you could do that or afterwards whatever you want you make it your own you make it your way just fold it back because you want the petals to go back in place later if they get full of glue it's not going to happen put a little glue right there in the center and be quick because that's plastic so you don't want it to melt and stick it in again just give it a little shape if you are tender to the glue use your little 
glue stopper so you don't get all burnt. Look at how adorable. And they look gorgeous on projects. I'm coming up with a friendship umbrella shortly, the next few days. And the flowers I used on the friendship umbrella were actually these. That's why you see so few because I used a lot of them. And so, look at how cute that looks. So if you don't have the famous brands, do it yourself. And I think, you know what? This might even look nicer than the famous brands. And you do it your way. I'm using the clear. You could use any color you like. Any color you like. And it's pretty cheap. They're usually on sale to see beads anyway. And there we go. There is the other one. Look at how sweet those look. Aren't they adorable? Thanks for watching. Any questions you could ask below. And look, I still have all of these to play with. And I could use any colors I want. I have that one that I got for a dollar something. And I have these little beads. They also come in bags. And these. It depends what color you want to play with. So I stocked up when they were so cheap. That's all you have to do when you find them on sale. Stock up. And I'm using the beads, but you could use anything. You could just use glitters if you want. So just be inventive and use what you got. Have a great day, everybody, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.